Course. Regaining the trust of the people, that's the top priority set out by Japanese Prime Minister-elect Nao Takan. He made the pledge before both houses of parliament elected him to the post. Mr. Khan served as finance minister to Prime Minister Yukio Hatayama, who resigned just two days ago. CNN's Kung La joins us now live from Tokyo with more on Mr. Khan, who he is, and uh, how his top promise is going to be uh, fulfilled. Uh, well, we don't know have an exact game plan of how he's going to fulfill that promise because he does have quite a gap to fill as far as what the distance is between Japan's lawmakers and how people on the street are feeling. When we stopped and talked to people about what they think about Mr. Khan, they say, okay, Prime Minister Khan, he's there, he's in the position, but the expectation is, is that they're lower. They, they don't expect that he won't be able to get in there and shake things up and do many of the things that was promised by the DPJ eight months ago. So certainly he's walking in with lower expectations. He is someone, though, who is a populist. He is seen as someone who's a grassroots politician. He doesn't come from a political dynasty. He is someone who can relate a little bit more to the people of Japan, and that is a bit of a departure from the previous prime ministers. So the reason why we make this difference known is because Japan is had a revolving door of prime ministers. There have been some five prime ministers in just the last four years, and so he has a job ahead, trying to unite the party. In his first news conference as Prime Minister Monita, he said he wants to get the public behind the party, but it is easier said than done. Monita? He's, he's a respected finance minister, but a good finance, finance minister doesn't make a good prime minister necessarily, I should say. And as you say, there is a revolving door of prime ministers in Japanese politics. Why is it? What is it about the country's politics that seems so difficult to maintain uh, to keep a prime minister? Well, there are a couple of reasons. This is a coalition-run country, so you have to govern by consensus here. And so if you have some disagreement, it's very difficult to come out and create some unilateral decision and direction for the government. It's very, very difficult. Also, the government is very sensitive to public opinion polls. And, and lately, the cycle has been is that when a politician has faltered, especially the prime minister, the public opinion polls suddenly dip, and then the media wongs start talking about when is this prime minister out because there has been this pattern so um, what the hope is is that he'll be able to break the pattern but as you can see here it, it's very very difficult to do so he does have quite a road ahead of him all right kyung law in tokyo thank you so much well for more on the latest transition of power in japan log on to our website at cnn.com international you'll find analysis of the country's politics and also a biography of the new leader